Ronald Reagan, 40th President of the United States, 1981 to 1989. In front of you is kind of a scrapbook that I made of pictures and photographs and etchings and things like that from books and magazines about the presidents. And so we're going to talk a little bit about Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan was female. All presidents of the United States were female. That is correct. I did not make a mistake. I told you the truth. So we're going to look at Ronald Reagan, just a few things, and hopefully that will give you some evidence to believe my statement. First of all, just notice that he has a rather short neck in this nice uh, colorful portrait you're currently looking at. So we're going to go down a little bit here to his wives. Plural because in hoax history he was married twice. Okay, the first time the marriage is to a Jane Y man. W-Y-M-A-N why a man? Why man? Jane. It has the man in the actual name. Then later he will marry Nancy Davis. Now, I'm not certain of this, but if you'd like to check it out, please do so, and maybe I will check it out later. But it appears to me that Jane Y. Mann and Nancy Davis are actually the same individual, the same actor. Again, I'm not certain of that statement, but it looks to me like that could be true. Okay, so let's go to a the piece, strongest piece of evidence I want to use in this video. I have to go to my flip chart. Okay, we're going to take a look at this piece of evidence, and this just shows Ronald Reagan in the 1950s at his home resort and a swimming pool. So what we're going to do is we're going to hone in on the chest region. Now, I'm certainly not an expert on female breasts. Okay, but on what little experiences I have, it appears to me these are definitely female breasts that have been reduced. Notice how they start up here and they're real kind of flabby and almost like a, a balloon it's blown up. Men's breasts aren't that way. They're a little more, a little more uh, firmer and not pudging down like this, like it's a balloon. But you can see in the breast area that 
They are female breasts that have been surgically reduced. If I get too close with my camera, it kind of uh, blurs a lot. But that's probably the best I can do there. So while we're in the upper region, let's go up to the head. And in particular, the hair. Now, I'm not going to do any, like, proving the hair is female hair. I want you to see the numbers. That's correct, I said numbers. I hope you can see them. I know the camera blurs a little bit when you get a little too magnified. So I'll try to bring it right to the point. On this side is the number one. On this side is the number two. So you can reverse them two, switch with the one is 21, which is your satanic number, or your blackjack, your three sevens, or we could do it this way. Your one is the presentation of the starry, the presentation of the character called Ronald Reagan the two is your interest in buying into it, okay? And then once you're hooked or sold on it, that's the three. The one plus the two equals three. Now you're a complete believer in this hoaxer called Ronald Reagan. Now probably if you ask folks, uh, middle-aged or better, who do you think was really a super president? <laughs> a lot of folks would probably say Ronald Reagan. Some of the reason for that is he was had tremendous experience in acting, or she had. Let me stay with my thesis here. Okay, so now we're going to do another thing here. We're going to go down to the hands. Now, I'm not sure how this is coming out on camera, but take a look at the hands. What goes on there? Okay. It's just to let you know that these individuals that are so-called leaders are sort of like uh, Greco-Roman gods. They are to have features like the ancient gods of Rome and ancient gods of, Egypt, of uh, Greece. What goes on there? Now notice the background is brick. Anytime there's brick, that's a pretty strong indication it's a Masonic hoax. Now I want to take you down to the feet. A oh, while well, before we get there, the rib section, it looks like a, a rib or two has been removed. And it almost looks as like as if they doctored the photo and just took out a bunch of bunch of flesh there. Doesn't really actually even look real. So they're trying to hide the fact that Ronald Reagan would have had hips as a woman and they probably doctored the photograph to make it look straight up and down. <clears throat> now we go to the feet and the feet are not enormous. They're rather petite, rather small and that seems to be an indication too. And notice how the shadows showing you the light and the dark, kind of like a half 
half man, half woman, half light, half darkness. And that's always what what the dualism is about, and the occult is about the dualism. And I'm not too sure, but perhaps there's something in this pattern here. I imagine it's supposed to be water splashed, but this may indicate something here, this pattern. Notice how with the so-called shadow it appears like his foot is actually extended and it's a black foot or almost like an animal foot. Okay, so there's plenty more in these photos and I just wanted to give you the idea. You can do this too, but my original thesis is that the one we have known as Ronald Reagan is actually born female. And in my view, these are female breasts that have been reduced. Look how they start up here and come down like a, like a balloon blown up. Okay, that's certainly not the way the breasts are for a man. Okay, and there's many, many other indications, not just with Ronald Reagan, but again, all presidents of the United States have been female and currently are female. <laughs> Currently is a female. <laughs> Use better English for you. So go to the one who's truly in charge of all history, the Lord God Almighty, who sent his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for us and rose from the dead, who is truly God, truly man, and we don't need these Greco-Roman type God heroes such as our hoax history has presented in presidents. I'd like to thank you for watching.